Hello and welcome back to Speed Freak Garage, home of Power Sports on YouTube. So I'm going to button up one last little item with the radiator real quick because I can't fix the hoses over here until I have Brandon's help. So I'm going to focus on something I should be able to do on my own, should being the key word, and that is the fuel rails. Should. Key word there. Should. So anyway, let's, I'm just going to go until the GoPro battery dies and then I'm going to call it a day. Um, cause part of, you know, this week is supposed to be like de-stressing. So I got a one quarter inch NPT. And so this is for the overflow. So, um, it's got to be sealed really well. Um, hmm. 15 millimeter it is. Oh, I could probably use that. So I had to go buy this fitting myself, which is very frustrating. Don't, don't even get me started on that. But anyway, so we're going to do like that. And we're going to use quite a bit. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, instead of wasting a towel, do that. Okay. So I can put this back. <clears throat> now you want to tighten it, but you don't want to over tighten it, um, which is why I use the sealant. Because you can damage the aluminum radiator if you overdo it. Then again, you don't want your shit to leak, so. Okay, I think that's pretty damn tight. I don't kind of afraid to go any tighter. Now, I, I forgot to bring the dish soap out, but I should be able to handle, handle this. So this hose, I have no idea how long it needs to be. Well, whatever, might even have to like curl around. That'd be kind of dumb actually. But anyway, I do know it needs to go on here. Wow, that's actually loose. That'll need a hose clamp for sure. So for now, I'm just sticking this in here. I'm gonna tape it up just to be safe. And then I'll install the coolant reservoir later because the last thing I wanna do is accidentally damage that old ass coolant reservoir because they are very expensive to replace with a new one. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm gonna use that one until it starts leaking and then I'm gonna get a new one. So I don't need to spend, I think it's like $200 on a piece of plastic. I mean, you could probably use a universal coolant reservoir at that point. I don't know if they actually, if they make ones that are specifically for a... Anyway, why is my phone in my pocket? So, I'm just gonna stick that over here for now. Then the rest of this is capped off. Well, that isn't. That really, honestly, I wonder, I might be able to use some leftover hose to make a little U for that. But until then, I just need to cap it. I mean, 
just to keep dirt out. Okay, now to do the fuel line, the first thing I need to do is knock these two studs off that are in my way. Hoping my shitty little hammer is gonna be enough. Um, where'd it go? I would think it would be. They seem to come off pretty easy. Hmm. Oh, of course, it took a hole with it. Wish the studs on the clutch master were that easy. So now those two studs are out of my way. Um, it would have been nice to keep them for running wire harnesses, but really it's not necessary. So what I can do now is I can start arranging my fittings. I have quite a bit of stuff here. So I've got some 90s. So where's my big 90s for the... This is very, very expensive fitting, so I'm gonna be pissed if I didn't buy everything I needed, because, God, what a, a lot of money, so. So I can take this off. Well, I guess I should probably mount, probably mount these properly first. Yeah, let's do that. So uh, I actually discovered that I installed so there's a kit you're supposed to get. So there's an LS1 to LS2 adapter kit. Um, and it comes with, it's from Holly. It comes with O-ring grease, which I wish I would have known about ahead of time. And it comes with some very heavy duty brackets for two different types of intakes. So fortunately, probably should Okay, that means I have to take all my injectors back out and check for damage from not using the O-ring grease. So very carefully, man, they don't want to come back out. Actually, fuck it, I'd say probably a bad idea to take them out. But I do have to replace the bottom O-ring on these, so. gonna be a pain in the ass. I don't want to mess up the injector. So these are like specialty o-rings for an LS2 intake. Um, which the the intake came with brown ones but these brown ones are a different size than the one Holly sent so I'm gonna I'm gonna trust Holly on this since it's their injectors. Uh, I have an o-ring pick you just, you gotta be super careful not to fuck up, like stab your injector. Cause. Or do that, or stab yourself. Cause once you use the pick on the O-ring, the O-ring's pretty much trash, so. or just bounces away. Come on, you little bastard. <clears throat> okay, so now O-ring lube we're gonna 
Assuming I'm just supposed to like rub it on the O-ring, right? Well, that's like grease grease. Uh, what would be the best way to do this? Probably on my hand. Yeah. Just kind of spread it around. I'm assuming you're not supposed to get it inside the injector, so we'll have to be careful with that. Okay, now I gotta get the O-rings back on without sending them flying across the room and messing shit up. I have a feeling this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Yeah, these O-rings are tight. Okay. Yeah, they're definitely a much different fit than the blue ones were, so I'm glad I got the kit instead of just trying the blue ones. Hopefully they fit right into the LS2 intake or I'm gonna be pissed. Don't wanna get that in the injector. Okay. <gasps> that was close. Okay. So now, these should fit, oh yeah, they fit way better. Actually, they fit more snug, which is probably why they did it. Yeah. Oh yeah, much tighter fit, okay. And then the bracket, which bracket is the one I need? I don't even know. I don't think it's that one. I think it's the taller one. I think it's this bracket. <clears throat> no? Is it the short bracket? Watch it not be either of the brackets. That would be infuriating. <laughs> these installed so I know what's going on. This is a this one. So this goes like this but it doesn't say if it goes like this or like this. Bad feeling these still aren't gonna fit right. Ah, uh, maybe the instructions. See instructions included with fuel rails. Yeah, fuck you too. The fuel rail, that's fuel pressure. The fuel rail, I don't, the fuel rails didn't come with instructions. Man, fuck you. Ugh. Okay. So, we need to. 
all the rest of these. Okay, yeah, that doesn't give me what I do with the brackets. Oh shit. Put the brackets down somewhere. It doesn't give me much confidence. Yeah, that's, that's shitty. Uh, that's really shitty. Well, that's, that's really fucking shitty. I'm gonna have to ask Anthony to help. I don't know what the hell's wrong. Just tighten them down for now so they don't jiggle everywhere. Okay. All right, now I gotta do this side's O-rings. So same thing as before, we gotta pull out the old O-rings and replace. Lost it, okay. Okay, I can put this away and then go ahead and oil up our remaining four O rings. Woo, she got a little excited. Put this with my other LS stuff. Okay.
All right, so now we can reinstall these. Okay, better, much better fit. If only I could figure out how to get the fucking brackets to work. I mean, it, I don't know. It's very, very frustrating. It's supposed to be like that. That's the only way that I could possibly see it fitting. It seems like it's putting a lot of, I mean, that fits. That's probably it right there. See, this one back here fits fine. Hmm, okay, so it's this bracket. I wanna, I wanna protect my wiring diagram. I can't even continue wiring anything until I get all this shit out of the way. Well, that doesn't need to be in the way. I don't know why that's... Ah, okay, that should have been back on the charger. Okay. Um, that belongs. Let's see now. So we need these four brackets later. Okay, sorry. So back to original. This has got to be, this is like, a, I'm assuming this has to go to the engine harness somewhere. Probably stick it there for now. Okay, so ah. okay. And these are all AeroQuip PTFE fittings for AeroQuip hose. Basically, we're gonna do this. I wanna get everything mocked up before I make any like final decisions. So this is gonna go down and under. We'll have to watch out for this vacuum line, make sure we don't block it. Um, so probably straight down and around, but anyway. And then, this is gonna do something similar. Basically down and around. So I don't wanna go over the top, like right here. I don't really think that's smart. Um, Cause the hood's already gonna have clearance issues and it'll be going right past the sensor, you know, fuel line right next to an electrical connector. Nope, I think underneath is our more intelligent option. So I think it'll look cleaner too. So that like that. And then we need, I have a, should have two of these 45s here, so. This is just barely gonna clear, but this is gonna go like this, and it'll go over to our, um, I need to mount that, but first I need to figure out. Should have another 45.
So this is, I need to tighten these O-ring fittings down. There's no reason for them to be loose anymore. So actually, if I have a flare nut wrench, oh man, it's so close to the right size. It is the right size. Okay. Okay, and then I need hmm. It's a sixteen. I don't even think I have a sixteen. is not a standard size that would be too convenient <sighs> last thing I need is a fuel leak not good okay So now we can find our fittings. Oh shit. I just had it in my hand, didn't I? And then I put it down somewhere. Um, Where did it go? I just had the fitting in my hand. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. I feel so stupid. Oh, there it is. old okay so this is gonna go here and that'll determine how far I need to place this so we want some hose length for safety but if we do too much hose length then we're getting into a different issue altogether. Um,
temporarily put this on so we can mark where we want the bracket to sit. <clears throat> it needs to be somewhere I can get to it back here, so preferably uh, Preferably, it's going to have to be like I'm going to have to knock this off, but I mean Man, that's going to be a problem There's like no I actually, I probably, fuck I probably need a straight one of these and then bend the hose myself because in order to get this to, there's gonna be no hose, line, no hose length and that's super not smart. So I probably need this like way the hell over here. And then, you know, like, eh, that's gonna be tough. I mean, really, realistically, it needs to be like, it needs to be like up like this, honestly, otherwise it's not gonna clear the, damn. needs to be over here. That way I have room for my fuel port too. I mean like dead center of these two and like right there. So it's the right height, I just need to get a straight fitting, which sucks because they're really fucking expensive and the minimum order for shipping I can't really meet. So I'm gonna do Kind of shitty. I need like. I really need it like. Right like that, I think it's gonna be, oh, I still need this. Okay, so now I gotta get this back off. Sucks, I'm not gonna be able to use that fitting, that's a lot of money. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna get a drill bit that's slightly bigger than it needs to be, that way I don't have to drill the damn hole twice. So, how I'm gonna drill <laughs> at an angle. I'm not fucking moving that motor. I think we're looking at probably a 9.30 seconds. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a 9.30 seconds. And then hopefully it's sharp enough to do the job the first try. Huh. 
How am I gonna even get get to it? I'm gonna have to Thank God for a lift. It's worth every penny. This lift has saved me from not being able to do this project, basically. There's no way I could have done it without a lift. I've talked to people who have done it without a lift, but I could not. I'm not skilled enough to, no way. Okay, we just have to not screw up my, well, I probably should do this the smart way and Should get myself a new punch. This punch is getting a little worn out. That's gonna be close. Fuck. Even the punch wants to slide. Might have to drill those holes out pretty frickin' big to get them to fit. <laughs> This drill bit's dull as fuck. Please let this be a new one. Looks new. metal. I should say strong metal. Of course. I knew that was coming. Damn, that's gonna suck. I'm gonna have to find just the right size bolt. to have a new drill bit. Now for the hard one. Fuck. Whew. Where'd the bracket go? Damn close enough. No, I don't know what to do about that little bottom bolt.
That might be short enough. It's the shortest one I got. Is it not even the right thread? Don't tell me they mixed metric and standard. They did. Great. I'll just use this then. Just Holly's little disclaimer. Okay. Ah, oh, that just barely fits. I mean, just barely. Gotcha. Okay. They look like tens. Eighths, I think. Kind of uh, separate sizes. Well, no, wait, three eighths is smaller than ten. Uh, whoops, should know that. Definitely not a one half. Wait, <laughs> my bad. Um, seven sixteenths. Try that. Okay, now I need to figure out what size these are. I mean, obviously I'm just getting everything test fit right now, but I still need to do it right. So that goes back, 10 goes back. And then these 
these are five sixteenths. Okay, so those are just snug for now. Might have to put a piece of foam there. Probably should put a piece of foam there. Um, last thing we last thing we want is this like banging against the. future but so yeah so what I'm annoyed with is that this needs to be straight and then the hose because there's no way to I mean you could do that but then it's gonna be down um, by the heat of the engine you can't do up so this is this is now worthless it's very frustrating so Um, oops. Uh, one of the things I need to do, I need to break loose this because I got an adapter for a, I might have to take it out of the Yeah, I'm gonna have to take it back out of the... Okay. Oops. Glad I got these soft jaws. That's extra now, so I need a this. So this is a eight to a six, because the feed line is only going to be a six. This this vehicle is not running more than 350 horsepower, so having an eight an line is completely or fuel line is completely unnecessary. In fact, the fuel pump's only a 6 a.n., so there's no point in 8 a.n. Anyway, luckily that fits up good. Okay. Shouldn't need a drill anymore today. Okay. Um, right, so this can go back in place. Okay. 
and then that's there, that's there. Now I need, no, I actually need to 3D print my bulkheads first, but I think I was gonna do a 45 on this. So this was gonna be a, a 45 to a 45. Nope, that's a 90. I'm gonna need it anyway, but bulkhead, bulkhead. Yeah. Uh-huh. Should be another 45. Shit. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's do it this way. everything open so we're not fighting the packaging could have swore I was supposed to get an another 45 So pissed if I miscounted. Yeah, I bought too many 90s, damn it. Or, well, shit. I might be able to make it work because I sure as hell don't want to order any more fittings if I can avoid it, although I gotta order a fitting for that. And then these, I don't want to lose these. Yeah, I have a bunch of fucking 90s. <laughs> so I guess what I can do is, if I have this one down here at the bottom, like right there, then it'll come up and over. And then this one, so this one's gonna be This one's gonna be like this. And then it'll be, man, I ordered a ton of 90s. This'll be like way up here like this. And so it'll go basically into that. It's gonna be a tight, yeah, do that. The bulkhead will be like out here like this, so. Like this. It's a short run of hose. It's gonna be tough to get right. It's gonna be very tough to get right. Man, the way this PTFE hose works is kinda Shit, where's the hose at?
Oh, fuck. Oh, it's over here. So, yeah, I'll be honest, I'm not really sure how, how that's supposed to work. So that goes in there like that, but then what the hell is this thing for? Huh. I'll have to look that up online. I don't want to screw that up. I'm sure there's a purpose for it. I'm just not really sure what that purpose would be. This is gonna have to be like down like this. And then this one will have to be up like this. Like that. This one will have to be. Well, shit, won't that interfere with. Pretty sure I was supposed to get a 45 for the bulkhead. Because. Damn. Damn, 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 how did I fuck that up? This shit's expensive. So I need an, I can't even go any farther right now. I need, I'm gonna turn all this down so it doesn't get dirt in it. I need to vacuum this all out, but I need an 8AN straight arrow clip. And then I need a 6 a.n. another 45 degree. So eight straight, six 45, I think, would be way more intelligent. The 90's fine on this one. Eight straight, six 45. Damn. Might, I don't even know if you can get those off Amazon because some it'll screw me on shipping and it'll take forever. Oh, and I need to find... This will probably get connected right to this vacuum line here. So, kind of boosts the fuel for me, but... And then here, I'll show you guys where to go. So I'm printing my own custom bulkhead. I'm not, I'm doing it off camera cause it's a lot of work, but basically it goes on the inside of the car. I guess probably smarter to show you. Let me get this back up safe. So if you look inside the car here, so this is a dead perfect fit. I mean, we're talking like perfect. I mean, so I'm gonna print. So this is a gasket to prevent like, you know, air leakage. And then on top of the gasket will be a six millimeter thick carbon fiber composite bulkhead, which will have the bulkhead fittings in it and six millimeter carbon fiber is way stronger than aluminum. So basically what will happen is if you get in a wreck, hopefully this little seal will help it flex a little bit and it won't break any of the bulkheads. Um, so yeah, and this is version two. The first one was three millimeters off somehow. I don't know how I did that, but luckily it was, it's probably a math error, but 
because three millimeters, that's a very specific, you know, error. It's not like it was 2.55, it was exactly three millimeters off. So I typed something in wrong. But anyway, mm, can I even do anything else today? So I need an eight straight, a 645. God, that sucks. I thought I had everything I needed. It's another $30. It has to go in the trash. I'm kind of getting kind of tired anyway, so. Okay guys, uh, see if I can get a decent shot here. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this time.